Okay, hello everyone. Um, today we're going to have a really quick presentation on how to deploy your JavaScript projects to GitHub pages. And also we're going to mix in some CI uh, to actually build our application uh, using GitHub Actions. We have some people here. Uh, I do not like asking questions that much, but um, if you use React, please raise your hand. Okay, we have React people. Angular? Okay, and Vue? Okay, I think most people uh, did React. Uh, so we're going to deploy React um, because what I want to show you is that it works for any, any JavaScript project. But if you go to the repository of the project, which is av available here, uh, you can uh, have examples of deployment to different, um, for different frameworks. Uh, this basically is a difference of few lines of code in CI, but um, maybe you use that for reference. As for why are we doing this? Well, GitHub Pages is a service allowing you to deploy static JavaScript projects for free and host it indefinitely for now. And well, everyone loves free hosting. And you can host their documentation for your open source projects, your personal pages, or some other JavaScript experiments that you might do. Also, for private projects, there are some limitations, but you can also use it in your organization, even for you know, um, a pull requests where you want to deploy a test version of the app. So many, many options here, but for private projects, you need a paid account if you want to, do, if you want to have private GitHub pages. And also, GitHub Actions is limited to 2,000 minutes thousand minutes per month if you have a private uh, project but honestly 2000 minutes unless you are an organization is hard to burn by um, just for personal small things uh, i do those front end front ends at a company called Ardigen. we do bioinformatics and genomics analysis uh, if you want to know how to do front ends for data visualization i'm also a guy uh, so let's do let's do quick coding uh, since we've chosen uh, React, I have, uh, just to overcome limitations of internet here, uh, I have a basic React Live app, React app that's, that was uh, created, created using Create React app uh, just today, so it's pretty up to date. So let's actually, let's actually see what we have here. So we're going to do npm start to run our application. Right. And we will have all our glorious boilerplate app. Yay, things are moving. So let's deploy this beauty to GitHub pages now. For that, I'm going to need to go to GitHub. By the way, it's all, it's all here. Um, all of the code examples, if you didn't see the link before. I actually need to use Firefox. There, I'm logged in. So once, okay, let's go to GitHub. And to host our pages, we need a repository, of course. So we're going to create a repository that's called uh, React. React up pages, let's say. And let's keep it public and create repository. I'm going to I'm going to just push the code to the rep repository. Let's see if we have a repo here. No, so let's do git in it. Okay. And let's push our code to GitHub. So once we have our repository set up, the code is here. So let's uh, try to deploy it 
your GitHub page. For that, we need uh, a pipeline. And I'm going to just go through definition here. It's pretty straightforward. And I think you can just plug and play, uh, use it in your project. So for workflows on GitHub to work, uh, or for GitHub Actions, we need to create workflow files. I have created once call, one called the GH Pages, and it's, um, it's a YAML file. Uh, we all love YAML files, but um, it requires, it contains a step-by-step -step definition of what needs to be done. So we're going to name our workflow GitHub Pages, and we're going to run this workflow on the main branch, or, and also on pull requests, so it's deployed um, for testing. You can configure it yourself in the documentation. Um, there are many options. You can also run this pipeline periodically or whatever you really want. We're going to uh, use an Ubuntu server uh, container to run it. As for concurrent jobs, we're going to stick to one parallel job for each commit, so we, do not, we can reuse cache, etc. And then we have uh, several steps in our pipeline. So first thing, we need to check, uh, check out the repository. Uh, then we, uh, we need to set up node in the version we want. I'm going to use node 14 here. And then there is a step from GitHub documentation that caches dependencies. This looks like a tiring boilerplate, but I just took it from GitHub pages examples from GitHub. And then we have actual code that builds and deploys our app. So first thing I, I need to do, I did, uh, did this using sed, but basically what you want to do is in package.json, package uh, we need to do a little bit of configuration. So our React knows a path under which the website is. Uh, because the URLs on GitHub pages, uh, they, follow, they follow a following following um, template. So we have uh, your username, GitHub IO, and a page name. This is a demo for view, for example. So if we want our React to, to app to be served uh, well, we need to tell React to build and remap all of the paths uh, to this subdirectory. So that's what we have here. This is said. You could just append it to package.json, but I wanted this to be uh, temporary so your code can work on production somewhere else. Then we install packages, then we build our application, and React um, by default builds to the build folder. And to actually make routing work well on GitHub pages, we, we do not uh, have uh, a dynamic features. We don't have a server that will route everything to, to the proper place. So what I do is I specify 404 page, that is the same thing as index page, and this is going to handle routes properly for our application. And then we do deployment. So for deployment, uh, I am using a GitHub action step that was written by someone else. What, basically, what it basically does, it's battle tested, many people use it. Uh, what it does, it uh, is uh, building, when it's taking what we built, so our build folder, and pushes it to gh-pages branch, which is a default for a GitHub pages deployment. So let's actually commit it. And let's see, let's see what happens. So let's go back to GitHub. Uh, and you can see here, there's an action, action part. If you never used actions, I recommend it. It's free compute. So when we go to GH action setup, we can see our deploy uh, stage that we defined in our YAML, and it goes through all of the steps that we, that we had. Uh, fun fact, we have an error here. So, so let's see what's going on, but uh, all, all our steps uh, are, mm, are running. Okay, we have um, we have some error connected with packet log JSON. So uh, let's actually do 
don't have packet block JSON. That's weird. So let's try to generate it. I have it in, in the copy. So that doesn't work. We're going to use that. But I think create React app, just use the ARM to make it. Okay, now we have package log JSON. So let's add it to our repository. And hopefully see our pipeline run. We have two minutes left, but that's enough for our simple CI to build the application, hopefully. So let's see what's going on here. CI, watching CI run is uh, a little bit nonsense. So let's actually go to settings because we're going to have to configure one more thing for our pages to work. Um, when you go to project settings, you can go to pages. And there we have to specify a source for our GitHub pages deployment. Um, standard GH pages is recommended. We actually have our install run well. We have build. And actually, our deployment went through. So what we can see now in the repository, our pipeline created a new branch called the GH pages. And it basically contains all of the files that were built uh, statically for our React app. And in settings, let's refresh. We actually have GH pages branch. Let's use it as a source for our, uh, for our deployment. And this is it. We have, a uh, we have a message that your site is ready to be published. And we've got it. So in 10 minutes, we did uh, deployment with CI. We have our static website running. I highly recommend um, hosting your projects on GitHub pages. If you have any demo projects you want to show off or you, know, you want to play using some different APIs and showcase some data analysis, whatever, you can do it. Any HTML file, any static website can be hosted. So, um, and the only thing, the most important thing you need from this talk is usage of this last deploy step. Because once you build anything, it can be deployed to GitHub uh, pages. So coming back to slides, um, presentation is available again at bit.ly slash pages deploy. And please rate the stock and let me know what could be done better and how you liked it. Thank you.